Hello everyone, my name is Justin, I am a librarian with the Sacramento Public Library, and welcome back to the second Judge a Book by Its Cover contest. We ask teenagers to redesign any book they want, in any way they want, using any sort of material they want, and not every branch participated, but the ones that participated really participated. Like, all of these are from the same branch. Same branch. Once the submission period was over, we sent all the entries to Central Library where every single Sacramento Public Library staff member looked at them and voted for their favorites. Which means, of course, some of my favorites didn't win, but, you know, democracy! I mean, I did come up with the entire contest, but yeah, it's cool, whatever. Also, it needs to be said that every single entry received at least five votes, which means every single entry was picked by somebody as the absolute best in the contest. So all of you should be really proud. Everybody at the library was absolutely stunned at the quality of the submissions we got. The top three in each category will receive a $20 Barnes & Noble gift card, and the winner of each category will receive a new copy of their chosen book with their cover on it. In some cases, the library will also circulate a copy with their cover on it. So what are we waiting for? Who won? Here are the top three submissions for the drawing category, ages 12 to 15. Third place in this category goes to Izzy, 13 years old, and her wonderfully stylized version of Breathing Underwater by Alex Flynn. She said in her application that she thought the cover was too orange on the original, and this one is definitely an improvement. The second place entry only edged Izzy out by two votes. This new version of Anthem by Ayn Rand is by Serena, 15 years old, and this one got a lot of attention, a lot of rave reviews during the judging. This category's winner by a landslide is 15-year-old Claude and this beautiful rendition of Homer's Odyssey. This was meant to fully capture the essence of adventure and trial in the Greek epic, and that really resonated with the judges. Everyone loved the beautiful hand drawing in this entry. Congratulations, a book with your cover is on the way. Here are the top three submissions for the drawing category, ages 16 to 19. Third place goes to 17-year-old Maggie's colorful reimagining of Cadillac Beach by Tim Dorsey. This was a come-from-behind winner that charmed a lot of the judges and raced up to the top three near the end of the day. Second place in this category is, well, a tie. Two entries received just a handful of votes over third place. The first is this redesign of Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre by Jessica, 16 years old, who wanted to give the cover a more modern look. The other second place winner is 17-year-old Samantha, who drew this gorgeous redesign of Street of a Thousand Blossoms by Gail Sukiyama. She wanted a cover that showed this book's potential, and many of us thought that this did the job. The winner of this category is this stark rendition of The Jungle by Upton Sinclair. 17-year-old Brandon wanted to update the cover for a wider audience. The artwork is stylized, straightforward, black and white, and everyone agreed that it was a uniquely creative reimagining and perfect encapsulation of the book's theme. Congratulations, Brandon. The third category is for entries done with photography, digital art, collage, painting, anything at all that isn't hand drawing. We had a close runoff for this category. Second place goes to 18-year-old John with this haunting version of Call of the Wild by Jack London. John created this with original photography and wanted to represent the book's message of perseverance and hope, the wild of the book's title. We were blown away by this entry. It could go on a wall just as easily as it could a book. The winner of this category is 16-year-old Tanya's redesign of Paper Towns by John Green. This was produced by Collage, and we were impressed not only with the artistic arrangement of very simple pieces to make an attractive whole, but with the clever way it riffs on the book's title and theme. Now, this one can't go on the library's copy because it's made with found artwork, but congratulations, Tanya, your new book is on the way. So, last time we did this contest, Franklin Library had a really strong showing with the winners, this time, North Natomas nearly swept the entire thing. I wonder who's going to go for the throne next time. And North Highlands Antelope? That's twice you've quietly won the non-drawing category. You just keep doing exactly what you're doing. So that's it! Congratulations again to all the winners, and congratulations to everybody. Once again, everything we got, every single entry, was absolutely phenomenal. Make sure to check in with your librarian at your library branch. We'll be sending your prizes out to you shortly. In the meantime, keep reading. Keep coming to the library to find out what to read next and keep your eye open for the next book cover that you think you can do better.